Hey guys, guess what? This video is about all of the BS I'm seeing online where a lot of fitness trainers are talking about you don't need to not eat carbs. You don't need to not eat fruit. You don't need to go keto to lose weight. I'm calling baloney because guess what? I know better. And in this video, I'm going to tell you why. Hey guys, how's it going? Happy Thursday. Um, here's the deal. I'm still in my workout clothes. I did a late workout today and this is a completely non-planned topic, um, but I'm doing it anyway. And um, I feel like I should, my husband is out in there um, watching one of his Viking shows. I'm just adjusting. I kind of feel like I should shut the door so that we don't have a lot of, I'm gonna shut the door, hold on. Um, I was not planning on talking about this topic today, um, but number one, <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you. Um, I'm recording my video a little bit late today. Um, I did my workout late today. Um, we had a lot going on today. It, today is kind of a flip flop day. I'm doing things later and it is what it is. Sometimes you have days like that, right? Memorial weekend's coming up, blah, blah, blah. Um, but you know what I want to talk about today is, and I've, I know that I've alluded to this in some of my other videos, but I have to talk about, because I just saw, and I really don't, it's not that I'm scared to confront these people. That's not it at all, because I really don't have a problem having a mature, di you know, um, dialogue with people where we disagree. I'm just trying to not do clickbait. I'm trying to not <laughs> be um, outrageously provocative and disrespectful, but I'm getting really a little bit tired of the misinformation. And maybe I shouldn't call it misinformation, but I'm seeing so many people in the fitness industry. And these are, a lot of them are people that I used to listen to and maybe Maybe I just have to realize that this is, this is why I've gone through what I've gone through and I've had this amazing transformation and I have this passion and this fire in my belly to share what I know with all of you. That's why I'm here. Like, this is why, this is my calling, obviously. I feel like I know this is my calling. But Kelly, get to the point. Tell your audience what you're talking about. Here's what I'm frustrated about. I saw a video, I think it came up on, I don't know if it was YouTube or Instagram, and it was one of the people, I've interviewed this person on my podcast, and he's like talking about, you know, why are all these trainers in the fitness industry talking about fruit making you fat? That's baloney. Nobody ever got fat from eating fruit. Eat fruit. And I'm like, well, actually, that's not true. And I, you know, and then, I think about another trainer who I actually hired and I just want you to know when I'm talking about these people, I don't think they're bad people. I don't think they have malicious intent whatsoever. I don't think that they're um, bad at what they do. What I know is that they don't know the information that I do that I have learned from my doctor and I also know that the information that I have learned with my doctor, my functional medicine doctor about, you know, over the past year about women 40 plus who have hormonal imbalance and how most of them probably have insulin resistance. And when you have that issue, high degrees of inflammation, high degrees of insulin resistance, your body is in therefore weight loss resistance. The best thing for you to do, first and foremost, get those hormones in the right situation. But the, the best thing for your body is going to be what I did, this keto approach to eating combined with fasting. The data supports that. There is more and more data. It is new. This is, these are relatively new findings. Keto is not new. Fasting is not new. But these findings for 
you know, women that are in this phase and the fact that this is like the solution is relatively new. And, and believe it or not, and, and if you go listen to the interview I did with my doctor, Dr. Ruthie Harper on my podcast, you know, she actually was talking about this and said, you know, the scientific data that supports that not all, it's not just a matter of calories in, calories out. Well, guess what? You know, I was spouting off and following all these people who were like, it's just caloric deficit. It's just caloric deficit. And I was convincing myself I was eating too many calories and beating myself up over eating too many calories. Now, caveat, you know, we do have to watch our calories. And when your body is working normally, you do have to watch your calories. And that's what most people whose bodies aren't working normally, if you want to lose weight, that's what you have to focus on, caloric deficit. But um, for all of you trainers out there who are saying, you don't need to go keto. You don't need to be worrying about eating an apple or eating fruit. That's baloney. Eat all the fruit you want. Don't, you, you need to like educate yourself and understand that there are legions, legions of people, women particularly, age 40 plus, who have hormone issues and insulin problems. And I will argue with you and get my doctor on the, on the phone and on the video and whatever. And we will, we will talk about this because I am literally like a walking, living, breathing science experiment proving this absolutely to be true. I wish it weren't, believe me. I don't, I don't wish to have lived the past two or three years busting my ass, working out six days a week, eating in a caloric deficit, fasting two times a week, doing, you know, cycling my calories. I still even have all of the notes where I would like obsessively record. Well, this day I was at 1200 calories. This day I was at 1600 calories. Then I was at 1200. Then I was at 1400. Then I did, you know, then I fasted this day. Then I came down here, you know, and then how many calories did I have this week? How many calories did I have this week? And then I, you know, I worked out six days and then I trained with my trainer four days this week. And I still couldn't lose any weight. I was 20 to 30 pounds overweight for literally the better part of the last eight years. And guess what? The second that I, first of all, stopped, did a reverse diet, let my body rest for the better, close to a year, and then went keto, still at the exact same calories as I was doing all those years before, 1600 calories, the weight fell off of me. So you tell me if I was doing the exact same calories, but cutting out fruit, cutting out carbs, and I suddenly had 36 inches come off my body and 30 pounds, are you going to tell me that fruit and bread doesn't make you gain weight, doesn't keep you from, I beg to differ. So all these people, and I'm seeing all of these you know, fitness people putting stuff out saying, you know, you don't need to go keto. You don't need to cut carbs. That's baloney. Who are all these people saying, oh, that's ridiculous. You know, and I've commented back to some of them that because I know some, I, I re, obviously I know a lot of these people, but it's starting to get to the point where I'm, I'm almost going to start aggressively talking to some of them and going, you're doing you and your clients and this industry a disservice to not educate yourself on this because a whole generation of women needs to know about this. And for you to go out and be telling them, like I was telling myself, and, and I, here I was eating protein smoothie bowls every single morning and going to, you know, out to eat and ordering double protein and having rice and quinoa and, um, you know, going out on my, on the weekends and thinking nothing of having a blueberry cucumber martini, you know, and, and just everything I had, it was just, you know, insulin response here, insulin response here, insulin response here, insulin response here. And no wonder I couldn't lose a pound. And then, you know, my estrogen went crazy. My boobs just grew to like Dolly Parton size. And here we are a year later, look at me. I'm selling almost all of my clothes on Poshmark because they are falling off of me. We're not just talking about like, oh, wow, you know, these, these are, you know, this top is a little bit loose on me. I can finally, you know, maybe it fits a little bit better. We're talking about like 
I can't wear stuff because I could fit another person in them. Like my husband will come up to me and go to my workout clothes. He's like, like those look funny on you. Like they, they don't, they don't look good on you. Like they're way too big. Never in my adult life has that happened ever. So I had to just shoot this video, which is probably going to be shorter than most to say that number one, for those of you tuning in, for those of you tuning in who, who might not get it, who, it, it, it I, I've clearly lost a lot of weight and had a great transformation with keto. I lost 36 inches and 30 pounds um, at the age of 52. I'm now 53. Keto is not just a diet. I mean, yeah, it's, it's a diet that you could choose to go on but it is a absolutely magical, when I say magical, I'm not being funny when I say that. It is a, it is like the missing link for women age 40 plus with metabolic damage from, from hormonal imbalance. And what I mean by that is basically if you're 40 plus or somewhere around there, you're in perimenopause, or maybe you don't know if you're in perimenopause, but you're probably going into perimenopause, menopause, menopause post-menopause, I'm already done with menopause, but um, if you're in that phase, it's highly likely you have insulin issues. And the thing is, that hasn't been mainstream media. Mainstream media hasn't talked about that. That's probably what's going on. Um, and, and so many women, just like I did, so many women, your body starts fighting you around age 40. You stop you're, you probably will start gaining weight or maybe you have the inability to lose weight. And the problem is most women will just think that this is a fitness problem. They ignore all the other things that are happening with their bodies. They ignore the body temperature changes. They ignore the mood swings. They ignore the changes in energy. They ignore the, maybe they have the sudden acne problems. They ignore the loss of sex drive. They ignore the vaginal dryness, their hair falling out. All of these things that are happening, these symptoms, they ignore all of them. They only pay attention to the fact that they're gaining weight. And so then they start obsessively adding more cardio and cutting back on what they're eating. And so many people have such a bad vibe about keto. I did too. I thought it, I mean, it was literally the last thing I tried and it was the best thing I tried. And it's the thing I, that changed my whole life. I haven't cheated. I haven't, I haven't gone off keto. It is now my lifestyle. I'm coming up on a year in fact, it's May 26th. In about five days, it will have been a year that I've been keto. Haven't cheated and I don't plan on it. Um, so if you're watching this, the point of this video was for me to say, if you are hearing, if you're out there and you're trying to lose weight and you're, you're seeing all of these, you know, you're stumbling on these people in the fitness industry that are like, oh my God, you know, Who's telling you that fruit doesn't make you fat? Who's telling you that you have to cut carbs? For, for a lot of people whose bodies are functioning normally, that is true, you know? I, you know, there's a lot of people who don't have to go keto. And I absolutely will tell you, the whole world does not need to go keto. My husband isn't keto. Um, I do not think that everybody should go keto. If I didn't have to cut out bread and fruit, I would love to be able to have an apple every day. Absolutely. Um, I'd love to be able to have a banana every day. I'd love to be able to have a protein acai bowl every day. There's a lot of things I'd, be, I'd love to be able to have. However, I'll tell you this, not for one second do I get up and complain about the food that I eat because there are so many amazing foods that I get to eat and even though I said, just said what I said, like, oh, wow, I'd love to be able to have this or this. There's a million things I could eat. And I'm never not satisfied with all of the choices that I have. And what's even better is that I'm 53 and I feel better about my body than I did at 23. So that is an amazing thing. And I know I'm gonna look better in six months than I did six months ago probably going to look better in three months than I did a year ago. I'll look better in six months than I did six months ago. I mean, I'm only going to get better and better and better. Um, it's just the, that's the best feeling in the world. When you get, when you get fat adapted and then you, you, you realize how you can manipulate all of this with, you know, intermittent fasting and 24 hour fasts. It's, it is just an amazing way to live. 
So when I hear all these people going, you don't need to do that, I just, and maybe that's what I need to do. Maybe I need to invite these people to have an, a more open dialogue out of not being provocative, not being clickbaity, not being like, oh, I want to fight you. Because these people, I think the world of them. But I want, there's a bug in here, I want them to know for their audience's sakes, for their clients' sakes, I don't want them telling more clients. And, and you know, I followed these people. I was a client of these people. I was misled by these people and their information, not because they did it intentionally, but I want more people in the fitness space to know what I know and to stop bashing keto, to stop bashing low carb. And you know, put the message out and say, hey, fruit isn't bad, but there are some of you, if you're 40 plus and you have hormones, you probably should be looking into low carb and you should be looking into keto and you should call Kelly Alexa. <laughs> um, that's all I have to say for today. So um, I really, really, really want you to start taking with a grain of salt when you hear that. Um, obviously, if you're tuning into my channel, if this is the first video you watch, Go watch some of my other videos on my keto playlist because you'll see more. And that's just, I'll be going into more detail um, about what I'm learning. I'll be educating more. I'm launching a five day online keto boot camp for women. Um, I will link up below. I've got a free keto quick start guide for people that just want to start kicking the tires with, with keto and learning more about that. That's based on, you know, my experience going keto and it's got some tips, best practices, links to some of the products that I use, some of the five or six recipes that I make on a regular basis. I'll also link below my keto cookbook. It's just 27 book, 27 bucks. Um, that's 52 plus recipes of great low carb recipes that are really simple to make. Like, I mean, five, six ingredients that you can make really fast without having to like really think about it. Um, and these are recipes that my husband and I make all the time. In fact, tonight we're making fish tacos. Mahi, mahi. No, I think we're making tilapia, blackened tilapia fish tacos. We either make them one way with mahi, mahi or one way with tilapia and we make them blackened. So we love them. Um, but I, what I, one of the things I love about my cookbook is the meals, I think, I think the, the only one that might take the longest to make would be the meatballs, but they're worth it. I think because it takes like 20 minutes to cook. Uh, but anyway, if you have any questions at all about keto, obviously leave them below in the comments. Make sure you're subscribed um, because there will be a lot more coming up about keto, about fasting, about weight loss for women age 40 plus. Whatever questions you have, leave them in the comments below. If you want to um, reach out to me, um, I do offer private coaching. I do have this keto five day boot camp going live in a couple weeks after uh, the Memorial holiday. Um, so if you have questions specifically, you can reach out to me at Kelly at kellyalexa.com. You can leave a question in the comments below, but of course, make sure you're subscribed, hit the little bell button so that you have notifications. Um, whenever we put a new video out, we usually have four to five videos coming out every week. There is a fly in my office getting on my last nerve. Um, I appreciate you listening to my unexpected rant this evening, but I just, I have to let you guys know what, what to not listen to. Um, and I'll just consider it my job to educate the masses. So you guys have a great evening. Thank you so much for tuning into the Kelly O show. And as always, just remember you are one, one small change away from a better, better, better tomorrow. See you guys soon.